I am Nishan from Malaysia, a fellow student of Professor Blancha. We will be presenting on hybrid repair of median meniscus radial tear and microfracture. This is a 52 year old gentleman who presented with a complaint of left knee pain for the past 6 months. His pain is aggravated by knee flexion and walking. There is no history of trauma or fall for him. Medial memory test is positive where he complains pain. Patella grinding test is also positive. The x ray of the knee appears to be normal with no abnormalities. The long leg standing view shows normal alignment. This is an MRI of T2 weighted images. The patient is prepared in a hanging leg position. First, we accelerate the limb using asthma and the tourniquet is inflated. Next, we locate the soft spot which is lateral to the patella tendon to create a standard anterior lateral viewing portal. Then, the scope is inserted and proceeded with diagnostic arthroscopy. An anterior medial Viewing portal is created over the soft spot medial to the patella tendon. A cartilage defect is visualized over the trochlear region. We then proceeded trimming of the defect using a shaver and a punch for set. Microfractures is done over the chondral lesion using a drill to promote healing. A ring cure touch is used to remove unstable cartilages and to contain the lesion. Now we see a well contained defect after cure touch and microfracture. The anterior crucial ligament is intact. The knee is then positioned to a figure of 4 to examine the lateral meniscus. To visualize the middle compartment and examine the middle magniscus, Welker's stress is applied with the knee in extension. To get better visualization and to repair the meniscus tear, we proceeded with percutaneous outside in release of MCL by locating the magic point. As shown above, this technique has been published in Arthroscopy Journal in 2020. A radial oblique tear of the body of the middle meniscus can be seen clearly after the magic point release. Next, we create an accessory portal at the middle side, which is a mid-medial portal by making a vertical incision parallel to the MCL fiber. This portal is good for working on the repair as it is close to the tear. The meniscus radial tear is inspected using a probe. We proceed with trephination of the meniscus to stimulate healing. The proximal and distal edges of the meniscus tear is divided carefully using a shaver. A meniscus root jig is inserted at the apex of the tear. After confirming the location, the jig is stabilized and we proceeded with transcerebral drilling. A cretouch is used to protect the meniscus during this process. A suture passer is then passed to the transtribia and kept aside for later. A spectrum is used to pass fiber suture via a relay through the meniscal capsular junction at the proximal part of the tear. The trans tibial relay suture is then transferred from the accessory medial portal to the anterior lateral portal. First pass is used to pass relay suture through the distal part of the tear at the red white zone. The 
Next, we use the spectrum again to catch the Mexico capsular junction distal to the Mexico stair. Fiber wire from the proximal meniscal capsular junction is then passed through using relay suture towards the distal meniscal capsular junction. This is kept for side to side suture later. Spectrum is used again at the proximal red white zone to pass fiber tape and fiber suture via a relay suture. A fiber suture is passed via a relay to the distal tear at the red white zone in a down up manner for side to side suture. Whereas the fiber tape via a relay is passed through the same bite in the distal red white zone in an up down manner. A first pass is used to pass fiber suture through the distal tear at the white white zone. The spectrum is used to pass the fiber suture at the white white zone proximal to the tear. The fiber suture from the proximal and distal white white zone is kept aside for transtibial passage later. The fiber suture of the white white zone and the fiber tape from the red white zone is passed through the tibia via the relay suture. Side to side suture at the red white zone is secured, knotted, and cut. Next, side to side suture at the meniscal capsular junction is secured, knotted, and then cut. The side to side repair is inspected before proceeding to the transcubial switches. Finally, water is inserted for transcubial switches and is secured and cut. Now we see a well repair riddle tear with overlapping and compression. This is a post op side x ray. Post op 3 months, patient able to flex and extend the knee and also able to ambulate without pain.